hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i want to share with you guys how to make this simple pencil skirt with a drape in front so if that sounds like something you're interested in please keep on watching and let's go into the video so guys these are the materials you're going to be using to make this skirt you can see i have my cutting materials here and for the skirt i am going to be making use of crepe so what i have here is a crepe fabric um it doesn't really stretch so this is what we're going to be using to make this uh, skirt i would advise that you have at least one and a half yard of this because it's usually by 60 for you to be able to make this skirt so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to fold my fabric like this i want to cut the front and back together so first i'll fold it into two like you see me doing like this so once you folded it into two you're going to fold it in again and this second time when you fold it again you're going to make sure that the second fold doesn't get to where the first fold ended because you need some allowance in front for your zipper so guys once you're through with the fold the first measurement you want to check out is the distance from this second fold to the end of the fabric make sure it's at least one and a half inch okay then from this point to the other end from this point here to the other end make sure that the measurement you have here is your hip measurement divided by four mine is here and then you are going to have some allowances as well so make sure that it's more than your hip measurement divided by four okay so now the next thing i want to do is to measure out the length i want this skirt to be okay so the first thing i would do is i will just draw a straight line across i'm marking from 20 inches i want this skirt to actually be 18 inches by the time i'm done so i'm just marking a straight line across this first line i'm marking is going to serve as our waistline okay so now from this waistline i'm going to place my tape i want this skirt to have about one and a half inch band at the top so i will shift the top up a little bit by that one and a half inch so from there i will go down to my hip measurement so from my waist down to my hip is eight inches i made a mark there as you can see and i'm just going to use my ruler to also draw this across still taking note of that one and a half inch at the top i'll mark down to the full length i want my skirt to be like i said earlier i want it to be 18 inches but i marked this out at 20 inches so that i'll use the extra for stitching allowance so i'm just going to go ahead and cut the part i'll be needing out so now that i'm done cutting out the parts that i will be needing we're going to start taking our body measurement so on this waistline my waist measurement divided by four is right here i'll make a mark here go ahead and do the same thing divide your waist measurement by four mark it and then you will add an extra one inch to that for stitch for your dart intake and then from that dart intake add an extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance now on the hip line you divide your hip measurement by four make a mark there and from that mark add one and a half inch for stitching allowance okay now I'll just go ahead and connect the last points with a curve this fabric is not the easiest to draw on so just manage with what i was able to draw here okay so now we'll come to the end of the skirt which is the hem and what i have the distance i have from here on the hip line which is 10 inches here i'm going to remove one inch from that and at the hem line i'll just mark nine inches okay now i'll just go ahead and connect it into the hip line just like you see me doing like this so basically we are done with the drafting of this um skirt it's a basic skirt pattern actually so i'll just go ahead and cut it out now so guys now that we are done cutting out the area of the skirt that we're going to be using from the front here i'm coming down by half of an inch this is just to help my skirt sit perfectly on my waist so i'm just marking it towards the side like i said earlier this fabric is very hard to mark on so i just did it roughly and as you can see i'm just going ahead to cut it out in a slanted way okay go ahead and do the same thing so basically we are done with this skirt pattern now from the middle of the front piece i came in with my half with half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is half of your bust pan and i use it to get a notch for my dart okay so once you've done that as well go ahead and open up the front piece 
and now i'll go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to stitch this down here by about four inch down here and here as well and then i will do the same thing for the dart areas of the back so this is what it looks like after i was done stitching down my darts for the front and um this is what it looks like in front okay now this is what the back part looks like so after stitching down the darts for the back i went ahead to stitch the zipper allowance that we left there earlier so let me remove the pin and show you guys what i did so i left some space at the top down to somewhere after seven inches here so from here i stitched down again leaving some inches away from the ends for our slit at the back okay so go ahead and do the same thing just stitch down the back leave space at the top for your zipper and a little bit of space at the end for your slit okay so this is what the back um, piece is looking like right now so you can also see from the inside of the back piece that have ironed the seam open okay you see this was the allowance i gave it earlier so i've gone ahead to stitch it down please go ahead and do the same thing now we are going to place the front and the back part of the skirt together right sides facing each other just like you see me doing like this ensure that everything is well arranged and i'm just going to go ahead and pin all the sides down so after pinning it down what i want to go ahead and do is to stitch this side and this side using the allowance i gave it earlier so go ahead and do the same thing stitch down the sides of your skirt so guys this is what my skirt piece looks like after i was done i was stitching it down on the side and i also went ahead to iron it out so let me flip it over to the back to show you guys what is happening here so you guys can see that i am not going to line this particular skirt so i've gone ahead to use a soldier to just hem the ends um, a lot of you know it as weaving machine so i've gone ahead to weave it <laughs> that's what a lot of you know it as so that it looks neat on the inside okay so now for this end here which is going to be our slit at the back i'm just going to cut a little bit of hemi gum and put inside the both sides so you just cut it put it here like this and just iron it out and it's just going to gum together i don't want to go ahead and stitch this area down and it, the stitches will now start showing in front okay so i'll go ahead and do that when i go over to the ironing board but first let's go ahead and talk about the band so this is the piece i've cut out for the band i use my round waist measurement on this skirt right now to cut out this band and then the width of the band is three inches and you can see that i've ironed my hair stay to it okay i've ironed my hair stay to it and i've gone ahead to iron it folded into two so go ahead and do the same thing now what we are going to do is we are going to just pin the band around the waist of the skirt like i said before i used the measurement around the waist of the skirt to cut out this band so i'm just going to be pinning it directly like this this is a, an easy way to just um you attach your band to your skirt um because i'm going to also be using a soldier later to secure the rough ed edges okay so i'm just pinning it all the way around just like you see me doing like this so go ahead and do the same thing So we're done pinning it round and this is what it looks like so i'll just head over to the sewing machine now and stitch it all the way around so guys after making my stitches this is what it looked like you can see how the band sits perfectly and this area where i use the hemi gum is now staying very nicely there and also i went ahead to just hem the end of the skirt so that it comes out neatly okay so this is how um to sew a basic skirt for those of you that do not know how to sew a basic skirt this is a basic skirt so now the next thing i want to just do is to measure for the ruffle that is going to be in front so like we already know the length of this skirt is 18 inches so for the ruffle i went ahead to cut it out with like three times that measurement so for the length of the ruffle go ahead and use about three times your measurement so this is 18 here 18 number two and then i had 18 and 11 inches so it's almost three times the length of my skirt that's what i want to use for the longer part of this ruffle and then for the shorter part which is the distance from here to the end so i have about 
almost 15 and a half inches so this is just perfect for the width of the ruffle but for the length make sure it's at least at least um almost three times the measurement of your skirt length okay so now as you can see i just placed my ruffle piece on the skirt itself i am centralizing it on the skirt and i'm just using my hand to create these ruffles like this just like you see me doing like this i'm doing it roughly right now just to see how it looks like and making sure that everything is the same length then i'll just go ahead and arrange it in place before i go ahead and make pleats to secure them with my pins so just go ahead and arrange it properly ensure that everything is sitting in place you have the amount of ruffles you want to have and once you've done that as you can see i'm just using my hand to pin it down still making sure that everything is in the same length ensure you have to pay attention to this length you don't want one side to be longer than the other okay so now i'm going to use my pins to now secure this part here so you can decide to measure from your waist to where the ruffle will start on both sides so that you don't make any mistake for me i just went ahead to do this like with my eyes look <laughs> using my eye to gauge the both sides but i advise that you take the measurement from the waist down to where the ruffle is supposed to start from okay so i'm just making pleats here and i'm just going to go ahead and pin it down so go ahead and do the same thing there's no special way to go about this just make pleats and pin it down but make sure you are pinning it on one piece don't pin it on the both pieces like front and back piece of the skirt together just pick only one piece and pin it down okay now arrange the other side when you're done pinning down the first side ensure that the both pieces are exactly aligning that one side is no longer than the other side and go ahead and make pleats on the other side as well like i said before make sure that you are pinning on just one part of the skirt not on both the front and back pieces together because you are not going to be stitching on both pieces. so guys after pinning it down go ahead and check everything to be sure that it's sitting perfectly the way you want it so now i have everything staying perfectly so this is how i'm going to head over to the sewing machine to stitch it down so i'll open it up like this so i'll remove my pin from this area when i'm stitching on the sewing machine and i'm going to make a top stitch on my pleats that i made here i'll open it up again on the, on the other side and make a top stitch here so after i was done making this top stitch this is what i have here can you see so it's not holding the back of my skirt and as you can see i've gone ahead to fix my zipper now so this is what it looks like i made a top stitch on the side seam and did the same thing for the other side as well so if i close my zipper this is what the back is looking like everything is done on this side and for the front you can see how nicely the ruffle sits here so this is basically all for the making of this pencil skirt with ruffles in front thank you so much for watching i hope that you actually find the video helpful if you are yet to subscribe to the channel please subscribe comment and share i will see you guys in my next one